all these people, all these people that are telling you that you can live a much, much better life than the one that you have right now, than the one that you have pursued for so many years, than maybe the one that you eventually are the only life that you can live. Because you've got some gifts, you've got some talents, but these people, these people, okay, these people that I decided to follow, like Gary V, like Dan Luck, like Louis Hose, like Ed Milet, uh, not so much Tony Robbins, there's so many, so many, so many. But I'm telling you, I'm sharing you with you just the ones that I that I see uh, uh, coming up on my feed on YouTube. And these people are telling you that you can you can have a, a wonderful life if you if you do this, do do, if you do this, do that. And, and, and so and so and so on. But the reality is, is that there's so much you can do according to your gift and talent, okay? And if you are already happy, you don't have to follow these people's advices, okay? Not because they have made a lot of money. I mean, I, I believe that Gary Vee, that Ed Milet, uh, uh, Tony Robbins, they have a lot of money, okay? I agree with them. I'm happy <laughs> that they have a lot of money, but I'm happy with my money. I don't need, okay, their advices to tell me how to live my life. The problem is that they are telling people right now how to run their lives, okay? The message behind, let's let, let's put, let, let's take uh, Gary Vee. The message behind Gary Vee is you're not gonna, you, you will never make it. I already know you're not gonna make it. When Gary V goes on those stages, okay, and makes like 2K, 200K uh, per speech, look at him. Listen to the message. The real message is you will never make it. I already know it. Okay, I already know you will never, ever, ever make it. You didn't see it happening in the past. You don't see it happening right now. You will never see it happening in the future. That's the message that Gary Vee is giving to the people. The people are not listening. Ed Milet. Ed Milet. I believe he made his, his money in the life insurance business, which is fine. He really created a real business. He made a lot of money. I believe him, okay? I believe his story. I believe everything. But even he's a Christian, just like me. He's a Christian man, okay? But, there is a but, when they're telling you that I know who you are according to the people you hang out with, I will never, never, ever, ever kick out of my friendship, drop off a of friendship, just because on the basis that they're not making the much much money as I am making right now. That, that, that's stupid. My friends are my real friends, the friends that I, I grew up with. I went to college with, I went to high school with, those are my friends. There's some friends that I made at, uh, at work, but that doesn't mean that I pick my friends according to the money that they were making or according to the beautiful life that they're having right now. Okay, these people, they are telling you, okay, that if you have a friend that hasn't made it in life, you have to kick him out of your life now. Now, today, not tomorrow, not next week, today. So, I don't know, I don't know. These people have become kind of toxic to me. That's the reason I am following them because they were telling me every single day, every single day, every single day, you are not gonna make it. I know you're not gonna make it, mostly Gary V, okay? What if you want to live an average life? What What if you just want to be happy? What if you just love your nine to five? And besides, on top of that, they're telling you, don't go to college. Don't go to college. If you're going to spend this, this, this amount of money, don't go to college because you're going to waste your money. Sometimes I, I might agree. If you don't want to be an attorney, you don't want to be a, an MD. Okay. But you know what? I learned a lot in college, okay? And I wouldn't change the, 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 the years that I spent in college, I wouldn't change it, them for anything in the world. That was a beautiful experience, okay? 
and college gave me gave me the vision the perspective that I have right now today for instance okay to crack the code when these people are talking to you in the beginning I used to listen to them because uh, they're they're supposed to be on top of the world right now they're hanging with the, the people who really know how to make money okay and I and I, I I believe them but then the values the values the principles the values that they are creating the morals the ethics that they are creating within their surrounding people okay the way they see you when they shake your hands you're not gonna make it I already know that then I go mm, I don't know if this is what I'm pursuing in life I don't know if I want to keep listening to these people. Look at the people that Ed Milet invites to uh, his uh, podcast. Okay, he's always, 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 always trying to max out, max out, max out, max out. What if you don't want to? What if you're already happy? What if you are already happy? Why would you have to go the extra mile if you don't want to? What if? What if? Tony Robbins, what if you don't want to change your life? Because he wants to change your life. He wants to change your life. What if you don't want to change your life? What if you're already happy? So they have come up with this uh, uh, measuring tapes, okay, which which they will measure up, okay, your happiness, okay, according to a base performance base performance system, okay. If you have achieved certain goals in your life that sort of match up their achievements. Then you qualify, okay, to be their friend or to hang out with them. People are criticizing Grant Cardone right now. At least, yeah, yeah, he made a fool of himself when he came to, to the <laughs> to the uh, interview with uh, uh, Belfort, uh, Jordan Belfort, the the Wolf of Wall Street. Okay, it, it was a very embarrassing interview, and I agree, I agree, but at least, at least, at least, when you listen to Grant Cardone, he's not telling you what to do, because he doesn't care about you, at least, thank you Grant, thank you Grant, at least, at least, Grant is not telling anybody, this is the way you have to rule your life, this is the way you have to live your life. He's not telling you because he just doesn't care about you, okay? He just wants more money, more money to his uh, uh, real estate uh, uh, capital investment. He's got a, he's got a sort of, a, I don't know. It's a, it's it's a holding. It's a it's a fund where he gets some people to invest in, in his uh, uh, vision, okay? Because when it comes to Grant Cardone, it's all about his vision, okay? His the way he see lives and the way he see business by getting a lot of lot of uh, uh, apartments and buildings and complex and everything related to real estate okay but at least he's not telling you because he doesn't care about you he cares about your money okay at least so I I, I have decided to keep watching Grant Cardone regardless the embarrassing situation that he went through at the interview with a uh, uh, with uh, uh, Jordan Belfort, okay. I keep watching uh, Jordan Belfort. I believe he's uh, he's right. He's he's right on the point, okay. He 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 really understands about sales, and I, that, that's what I like about him. He really talks about sales, okay. But uh, the most the most toxic of all of them, by far, by far, Gary V. By far, by far. I don't know what happened to him when he was a kid. I don't know what happened to him when he tried to get in, into college. Something happened. I don't know. But he just doesn't believe you're going to make it. He is 
110% sure that you're not gonna make it. And then Ty Lopez. Ty Lopez at least, at least, he told people the truth. He told people the truth. I'm just here for the money, okay? At least he's selling his products. He's not getting any more, uh, uh, he's not getting any more followers because people or people already realized who he who he was and what was he about to okay he was pretty much up not he was <laughs> up to no good okay he just wanted your money and it's okay it's okay at least he will tell you I want your money buy my courses okay I don't follow him anymore he became sort of uh, he was very entertaining in the beginning okay I would say 2014 2015 maybe here in my garage but then yeah, you realize that he was uh, he, he was putting on a play, inviting all, all these girls and, and having some friends that did, who didn't really care about him. He didn't care about his friends. They didn't care about him. The girls didn't care about him. He didn't, well, he did care. He thought they were into him. They were into his money and exposure. And that was it, that was it. At least he's just trying to make more money, which is fine, which is fine. And I'm happy that he's a sort of a Latin guy, and he, he made it in the in the YouTube YouTube entrepreneur, entrepreneurship business. Word, word, entrepreneurship word. Okay, that would be it. Okay, that is the reason I am follow all of those guys. I'm not planning on follow them back again. I guess that was it. Eventually, I would see a, an interview if they are invited. I mean, in a group, but. Uh, too toxic, man. That was not the, the the entertainment and education that I was looking for on YouTube. Mostly YouTube. I'm, I'm not talking about uh, LinkedIn or 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 Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Mostly YouTube. Okay, YouTube. That's my platform. YouTube. That's it. I'll be back. Okay. Bye bye.